Hello, very good morning racing folks. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the Bangalore races for 24th June 2023. On the surface, the uh, card looks uh, kind of mixed. A few races look solid, favorite. A couple of races look uh, sort of look. It rained in Bangalore, I understand, so I do have to watch penetrometer and so do you guys. Uh, Bangalore is a goofy track. Uh, sometimes uh, even it rains, uh, uh, the favourites win, sometimes they get look. The uh, front runners uh, get a distinctive advantage uh, and by the rail it becomes heavy and all that kind of stuff. Uh, by the first, second race you get to know the nature of the track. Uh, uh, this is the... Uh, I have um, about 45 new subscribers. Most of you know me, uh, but these new people may not know. Uh, I am not a paper handicapper, folks. I, I do what is called a physicality handicapping, meaning I, my final choices are in the uh, uh, horses when they come the, in the paddock. I work for a trainer called John Harry Martin Gosden, uh, who at that time was a small trainer, then he became a very big trainer in UK. Uh, his assistant was Charles O'Brien, and he's the one who taught me a lot. I was surrounded by a lot of Irish uh, boys, uh, exercise boys, assistant trainers. They never talked about handicapping and all that. They only talked about how the horse looked in the paddock, how the horse behaved in the race, uh, blah, blah. So um, that's why I, uh, when I came to India, I was surprised nobody talks about the horse. They all talk about two kilos here, four kilos there, timing, etc., etc. So that's why. So this is a, like a trailer, folks. Uh, picture of Ibaki in the film dialogue. Uh, I, I am always live on my paddock review. You are most welcome to join. It's free. Uh, on the same link, uh, just press the notification bell button. You will know when I am on the uh, uh, live. Uh, Anyways, uh, going straight to the race is The first race is the DuPont Plate, 1400 meters, class 4. Uh, it's a no-whip race, folks. Uh, if it was a whip race, I would uh, bet a big time on Twilight Tornado. He was coming like an express train on a 6 per long race. Uh, the extra 200 meters would suit him. But he was whipped uh, and he's carrying a top weight and no whip. Um, that is a little question mark. <clears throat> the other horse that it caught my eye is a horse called Venus. Even though he won in class 5B, uh, he was a, uh, bought from Pacey Stable. He was for sale for a Pacey. He was asking a lot of money. I did send a couple of friends to buy, but and it was out of their budget. Uh, he, he, he buy uh, a Dean's uh, a Kitten, which I am not a big fan of Dean's Kitten on the dirt. Most of them are failures. But this one ran exceptionally well. I don't know what the trainer did uh, to improve that horse drastically from uh, Pacey to Pacey couldn't uh, do. He was always looking well. I, that's why I sent my friends to buy it. Uh, anyways, uh, if, if, if that race was not a flash in the pan, he could upset folks. Uh, and then there is a horse called Solid Power. Uh, his Rajan Agrawal is way overdue. Uh, today also he has two runners. I, I have a strong feeling he'll win. He's very lucky owner of Bangalore, no question about it. So the race boils down between Solid Pa, uh, Venus and uh, uh, Twilight Tornado in my opinion. Uh, as I, most of you know, uh, I'll decide in the paddock. Uh, the second race, folks, uh, it's for the maiden three years old only. That race, though, I always decide in the paddock. But on the paper, Amazing Attraction has a decent form. Uh, it's by a horse called Akid Champion, which is by Galileo. Uh, he's a good sire, or he'll turn out to be a good sire eventually. Uh, there's a horse called Annandale, uh, number seven. He's by Wind Legend out of a uh, very good mare. Is again Rajan Agrawal's horse for an running first time. But he worked well. Uh, and Vijay Singh brings uh, uh, good horses. Uh, no, this is your uh, Arjun Mangalorkar's horse, Norwegian wood. Anyways, uh, I, I, I decided in the paddock uh, paper, amazing. Uh, 
attraction and Annadale uh, looks like the race should be between them. Uh, the third race, folks, is the Prabalo Plate Division 2 uh, Class 4. It's the most open race of the day. Uh, there's Oscar Chulbul Rani. They do all kinds of uh, hanky panky, bring her down, and uh, in class four. She runs very well in class three also, and then she wins one race and then suddenly disappears for a year, then again shows up, that kind of a thing. There's a horse called By the Book, Neil Darasha's horse, Zarwan is riding. Uh, there is Ganpati's horse, Spirit Dancer. There is Capri Girl who is, uh, in my opinion, a hidden horse in here. Then there is Sacred Creator, who is a Senarish horse, then Decent Second, and then Disappeared all of a sudden, which is their style. And there is Emeraldo. So, there are many horses in here, folks. Uh, uh, so, uh, watch the betting trend for this race. Uh, uh, this race, uh, if you can leave it, it would be a wise idea. You can win them all, folks. <laughs> If you're going to bet all seven races at the end of the day, you're going to be a sore loser. Just just decide two races or maximum three and have a good bet. If you're losing, don't chase the loss. Uh, there's always another day, folks. Race number four, folks. Uh, it's the Star Bruce Plate, 1,400 meters for maiden three years old. Again, uh, again it's uh, for maiden three years old. My judgment of the babies are good in the paddock. So, us called Golden Glow. Uh, Imtiaz said, uh, I was uh, fencing last time, but did not run to my expectation. Nonetheless, gets a tongue strap. So, obviously, I had a bit uh, problem, or the tongue over the bit, or under the bit, or something must have happened. So, Imtiaz puts the tongue strap. Imtiaz is fencing his horse, obviously. Then there is a horse called Septimus Severus. Vijay Singh, just like PC folks, uh, has lots of horses. So he has choice to bring to Calcutta the best of his lot. He won't bring a ordinary mediocre horses, and uh, he does well. Uh, then there is horse called Clockwise. He is by Aki Champion again. Uh, he has a decent form in uh, UT, I think. Uh, I decide this in the paddock. Uh, Golden Glow on the paper uh, looks uh, okay, but uh, each way, if the odds permit, that is. Uh, Fifth race, folks, uh, it's a, uh, uh, the uh, D. Kumar Sadhana Memorial Gold Cup, 2,000 meters race. Uh, one horse sort of stands out, is the champion's way. Uh, he's won two races in a trot. Uh, Naredu uh, brothers, uh, Satish Naredu trains and Yash Naredu rides. Uh, but there is a horse in here of Imtiaz Seth, uh, Big Red, who won last time, and he is running at a magic number of 50 kilos, folks. For one baby to another, these are three-year-old, um, uh, to give nine kilo, uh, six kilos, uh, six and a half kilos, exact, uh, is always a problem. Uh, I think Akshay Kumar may, uh, one kilo overweight, he may have to carry. He's also by a lucky owner, Mukul Sonala. Uh, this horse uh, had a decent Bombay form. He uh, won last time quite impressively. Um, the race should be between them two, with Splendido as the joker in the pack. Uh, but the champion's way of victory was quite impressive. Uh, next race, the feature race of the day, folks. The Chief Justice Cup Grade 3. It's a nine for long race, 1,800 meters. One horse to totally stands out. Uh, she's never run, I think, this low uh, for some time now. It's King's Ransom by Pacey. Uh, only issue would be, maybe odds may not be very lucrative if it get bet down heavily. And uh, nine furlongs, little short for uh, King's Ransom. She kind of warms up only around nine furlongs. So always will be last and... Although P.S. Chauhan knows her well, P.S.C. would instruct to be closer to the pace and all. Um, but still, uh, that is a minor issue. Uh, but uh, she kind of stands out, folks, uh, in, in here. Uh, uh, there is a hospital, Third Avenue, by uh, Aarti Doctor. 
she also a little smart cookie. Uh, she won't bring a horse uh, to Kolkata all the way, I mean, to Bangalore from Kolkata. Uh, ran quite decently uh, last time, looked well in the paddock. Uh, may, may, may place. Uh, then there is, of course, Rasputin and there is Monteverdi for place bet. But King's Ransom, if all look well and if I get a even money, folks, it'll be my day's best. I'll bang it if I get a good odd. You never know. The bookies know better than us. Uh, the race number seven, folks, uh, again, it's a, a bit open race. Uh, if it's, uh, if you can avoid betting this race also, uh, it, it'd be a uh, good idea, actually. The Pablo played uh, Division 1, 1200 meters, Class 4, folks. This was called Classic Charm Ramu Sauce. Ganpati trains, Srinath rides. Uh, uh, they, they, this the Ramu's instructions come from their old the school of uh, handicappers. They give green signal and they bet big, otherwise the horse is non-jobber. So you have to watch the betting trend and decide the, at the last moment. Silver Swift, the grey horse, won very impressively by four lengths last time. Uh, he, he, he could very be uh, in the thick of the thing, folks. Uh, I, I go with Silver Swift uh, and then Ramu's if the money comes. Uh, then there is a horse called Mysterian. He gets a mock race, but it doesn't really. Uh, Baltimore always looks well, like you want to bet big, but does not really perform. Anyways, folks, uh, thanks for watching. King's Ransom stands out. And uh, uh, that baby between... Uh, uh, Imtia's horse, 50 kilos or the champion way. Those two uh, races look uh, very good for me to bet. Uh, all races I never do and, and neither do I advise folks. Uh, anyways, uh, as the Hindi film dialogues goes, uh, picture of Ibaki hai, so do join me. More than 200 people do come live uh, uh, on the paddock review. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Gamble sensibly folks.